Oh, 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 oh. Cool, funky, fresh, hip, happening, lacquer. I don't know any more words. How's it guys and welcome back to a girl named Cassidy. So with spring around the corner, I spring, summer, same, same. I'm doing my utmost to get back into shape. A lot of you guys who follow me on Instagram and TikTok and whatnot must be saying, you don't need to get back into shape, you already are in shape. Yes, but for me, it's just like, I wanna feel fit and I wanna feel summer body ready, whatever that is. It's relative to everyone. But anyway, I wanted to make a cool video about what I'm eating in a day and I'm just about to go and work out and stuff. So I just wanted to take you along with me because I know that with the sun peeking around the corner, I know everyone's like, oh, 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 <laughs> about the fact that they have to get into shape because now they're going to spend more time outside in shorts and a bikini and a mankini. Who knows? I don't know what you like. I don't know what you don't like. But, you know, maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Let me know if you do. But otherwise, this is what I eat in the day. So I'm going to go and have a coffee and then... I said I wasn't going to talk to you guys. I was just going to show you guys. So stay tuned. Nothing better than a good coffee in the morning. But if you guys know me, you'll know that this girl at the start of the day always puts a teaspoon. I did this because I'm like, heap teaspoon. I always put a teaspoon of coconut oil in my coffee. It's got a lot of health benefits like it speeds up your metabolism it's great for flushing your system it's a really good source of omega it's a healthy fat so it keeps you full longer especially when you're intermittent fasting you do have moments where you wake up in the morning you're like oh i could literally eat a whole cow but obviously i don't do that so i put a teaspoon and it helps with all of those but look into it it's not always for everyone also the texture in the beginning like i'm so used to it so it really doesn't matter for me but the texture in the beginning a lot of people are like why is it slimy? So if you really want to do it, but you don't like the texture, you can just pop it in like a Nutribullet or something and then it makes your, your coffee really frothy. But for me, I'm lazy. So, so I'm just going to finish up this coffee and then I'm going to do a gym workout. But So guys so the workout was great felt good then needed to go fetch my sister from school only to find out i didn't so now just got home with my mom and decided i would make us a salad so yeah these are my ingredients that I'm going to be using in the salad today. I'm really loving putting flax seeds and chia seeds in literally everything. We've got some tuna for protein, avo, feta, a red onion, carrot, cucumber, lettuce, tomato, coriander, and a pepper. And there we have it. I added a few more extra things. So we've got yellow pepper, we've got carrot, onion, avo, feta, cucumber, tomato. We have coriander. I found we had some red cabbage, normal cos lettuce, and we had fresh rocket from the garden. Then some tuna for protein. And then we have some chia seeds and flax seeds as a healthy fat. Okay, so I used to like real big chunky salads. So there was this place that used to take all their salad stuff and they used to cut it really, really fine. And it was just like a game changer. So if you're looking to spice up your Spice up. If you're looking to change up your salads from that like boring, big, chopped, like very Mediterranean or very like Greek salad, try cutting up all of your ingredients real tiny. It's just, as I said, it's a game changer. Oh, 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 it's going everywhere. It's going everywhere. See, this is why people do an aesthetic, so they don't have to pick up the pieces later. Okay. Then. Oh, 
This is one thing that I've had this conversation time and time again. There are two types of people in this world. People who lick the feta off their fingers and people that wash the feta off their fingers. I wash my fingers. I can't. <laughs> it's just so like, ugh, for me. How's it guys? Okay, so, oh, sorry, it is loud. Ooh. Okay, so I just got into Dan's. Dan is my boyfriend. He's currently at work. So I figured I'd go and pick up some stuff for dinner. Maybe I'll go and pick up a bottle of wine. Okay, so I'm literally just wearing an oversized tee and then I've got my vintage, you look, I've got my vintage uh, diesel jeans on and then my little, uh, Steve Madden sandals. Okay, so I've washed my hands and I've done the things. I also have my cooking book here. So let's get going. Also, I'm not going to talk a lot during this whole situation. I'm going to make it into some really cool, funky, fresh. I'm just going to list some synonyms now. Cool, funky, fresh, hip, happening, lacquer. I don't know any more words. I'm going to make a fun time lapse because, well, I really enjoy cooking with a glass of wine and some fresh boots. Hey Siri, play some music. Oh, 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 oh,